Pacific Islands Fisheries Group has enlisted the help of Lane Nakagawa to help with some important bottom fishing research. And on this day, the conditions are just perfect. Man, that food smells so good in there, I'm gonna eat, keep on eating. <laughs> is, that, is that the sack and save chicken? No, it's not. I was gonna buy the sack and save chicken, but I was too late already last night. Somebody's fish is floating over there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hey, you lost one fish. You guys lost fish. I lost one. Up there, we're gonna get them. I think so. Okay. We're going to pick them up. Step That's here. the nice thing about these flat days. Huh? You can actually see that kind of stuff. So how do we log this on a fish catch effort? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Free for your taking. Free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, There's good eye, bro. There's a fish over here. And a dead one, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice size one. Oh, there you go. Sure, we will get rigor mortis already. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Still look fresh, though, yeah? yeah. Mark it. <laughs> cow, cow. Cow, cow. <laughs> I haven't seen an onaga like that since I don't think I have. <laughs> yeah. It's good. We're barely moving. Yeah, the beats come up good, too, man. It's yeah, not they're good. not all hard yeah, and not twisted, hard. yeah. For Lane, life as a fisherman is nearly idyllic, except for one thing. He's allergic to the bait. The rubber gloves is because my hands are, I'm allergic to the squid, so I gotta do what I gotta do so I don't get, you know, rash or it even starts to blister really bad and it makes it painful and you can't fish for the rest of the week. The rubber fingers, the rubber comes from like my dad and my grandfather folks, that's what they use, I guess maybe because that's all they had back in the day. And I'm still using it till today because it's very effective. And uh, as you can see, the line doesn't slip through your hand or anything. And it's what I use for trolling. It's what I use, I don't use gloves. As far as uh, regular trolling gloves, it's, this is all I use. It's all my line protection that I need and that's all I have. There's a sparrow on my line. <laughs> Better pull this guy up in low speed. Got something, Clay? Yeah. yeah. That was tall, you. That was good. Oh, good one. Yeah. Oh, can see him. Oh, fork tail. Nice one. Oh, bro. <laughs> there you go. There you go, bro. <laughs> That's a nice one. What, tag him and let him go? Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty fish. Oh, sweet, bro. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mine's a lot bigger than yours, Clay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, mine was pretty close to being a bio sample, man. <laughs> the tagging project. Okay, here you go. Got your measuring tape, dude. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. All right, six three. You see you when you get six about three, ten pounds. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's a nice fish, Clay. Yeah. I didn't know they had fish like that out here. Hey. The one and only. No way. <laughs> Better not be. 233 feet from a waypoint. It's 136 right now. Okay. Let's take it off. Oh, there she is. Nice already. Oh, bro. Oh. Oh. oh, slow down, Chief. Chill down. Oh, You're gonna go back. Okay, six, four. Yep. One, two, three. Oh, oh he's healthy, man. Look at that. All right. 
traditionally fishermen, especially bottom fishermen, had a lot of different grounds that they would rotate and take a little bit here, take a little bit here, rest some areas so they have a chance to come back. And it doesn't quite fit today's management when they shut down the whole area and they don't allow you to rotate the areas. And uh, you know, to me, it just proves what you've seen here that if fishing responsibly, you know, we take care of these areas and you've seen the results. Stock down there is really rich right now. Right. I mean. Well, that's what fishermen have been saying all this time. Yeah, we got, you know, there's tons of fish down here. We know, and we're trying to get scientists to understand this slowly. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're doing, that's what it's about. You know, commercial fishing is my only livelihood that I do. And, um, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Who wouldn't want to work out here? I mean, look at this, this is beautiful, you know? I really love what I do, and that's why we're doing all of this research with tagging and releasing and getting the fish back into the wild so they can go out and breed another day. It's about doing the science like what we're doing today and putting back fish for the future generations like my nieces and nephew right now. Not all of Lane's fishing is for science. That night he went out again, tagged dozens of apaka paka, and kept a few dozen more to give to friends and to pay the bills. That's a wrap for this week's episode. We're always interested in having different people be part of our show, so please get in touch with us at hawaiigosfishing.com. Aloha and ahui ho. Production support provided by Alamo Hawaii, the official rental car of the Hawaiian vacation. Island Air, intra-island air transportation to all your favorite fishing grounds. Real Recipes was filmed at the Island Home Building Materials Showroom. Scuba equipment servicing provided by The Kind Scuba Repair, the most sophisticated repair facility in the Pacific Rim. Aloha Wear provided by Go Barefoot. Additional clothing provided by Hawaiian Island Creations. <laughs>